Back on the bench here, we got the Luban. Luban block planes iron. It's the 102. After the last video, I decided I'd order the order the 101 as well. So it got me to thinking, I was like, man, I really want to know <laughs> where this iron is at for hardness. And so we got a Stanley. Uh, I think this is out of an old sweetheart that I need to pull out of the box and tune up one of these days. And then we got a old uh, Sheffield England marple here to kind of to see, make sure I'm getting good hardness across the board. But I definitely got curious after the last video and I said, man, I really want to know where that hardness is at. So I ordered this set of, uh, set of hardness files here. Got a made in Japan. Not going to try the rest of it, but they are hardness files. And so we're going to go ahead and just glide across the surface and see which ones mark and which ones don't. And we'll probably know if the Luban matches up to the Stanley and the Marple. It'll also be nice to see if these are about the same hardness as well. Just out of curiosity, I think they probably are, but I don't really know. So let's see. First we'll go with the Stanley here. Oh yeah, that marks on the surface there. Let's see if I'm making any darker there, but we're uh, her, ooh, focus right there. She's marking, so uh, yeah, we'll see if the see if the Sheffield, the Merple, a uh, little bit of a mark, still marking. Right. Right there, still got a mark. So let's see, let's see here. We'll go down one to purpley blue. Let's see if this one marks. Not, not really cutting it there. Would seem on the. We'll give it a real, real push. Well, I'll highlight it. So, right there, I tried scratching, and I feel like I'm just polishing the surface. I'm not, I'm not cutting nothing on the Stanley with the blue one. Let's see about the purple. Where are you at? Ooh, still marking on the purple. Hey, interesting. Hey. Okay, so. Marple's not as hard. Let's go to this nice teal color here. And we'll see if she marks on the Stanley or the Marple. Stanley, definitely not. Feels like butter. Marple, no. No Marco. I'm just gliding across the surface. Right down here, I'm gliding across the surface. That's where I'm still getting the mark with the, the nice navy blue scratcher. But no mark on there. So this guy's harder than this. Oh no, this guy's harder than this guy. By just a fuzz. And let's see about the Luban. So Luban. Oh yeah. Black one's marking. Let's see. Right there. Got a mark from the black one. Go down to our old friend Navy Blue. Navy Blue still marking. I think. Seemed like a pretty good scratch there, so that's the that's the Navy Blue. And we'll see where the teal's at. Nope. Teal is gliding like butter. I'll show you the buttered surface currently. Right there, just not even, not even affecting the original milling really. It's just gliding across like butter. So, marked with the black, marked with the navy blue, no Marco without teal. So, we're somewhere between 55 and 60.
Rockwell hardness there. Um, so about the same as the Marple Chisel, which is pretty, pretty dang good. Now what I would like to know is which one are we going to do with this with? Let's go with the teal. I'd like to see kind of the, I think we'll go, go with the back. I'm going to, I'm going to scratch along the back here and see how much of it they hardened. Maybe they only hardened the first quarter of an inch or something. We'll see. So, Not this one didn't work. Yeah. She's dang hard. I mean, you're not going to get much past there. I mean, who sharpens that much on their chisel, anyways? But that's cool. That's cool to see. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the blue one would mark all the way up if I really gave it a scratch, but I don't think that's what we want to see. We want to see if it got softer anywhere, and it didn't seem to get softer than the 55 Rockwell hardness there. So that's encouraging. Nice to know that they're heat treating the usable portion of the iron to at least a pretty decent chisel. I think these hold... I found this one at the Goodwill. This is not one of my chisels. Don't judge me there. But I found it at the Goodwill, and that's why I pulled it out of the out of the bundle there to test this on. But this one has not <laughs> not been tuned up by me, not yet. Uh, maybe one day when I need another half inch here. But these these ones are hard to pass up when I see them all covered in paint at the Goodwill. So uh, it was a cool test. Nice to. Nice to have these. I've always wanted a set of hardness testing files and had my birthday the other day and someone gave me a gift card on Amazon. I thought, you know what? That's the last thing that I need. Hardness files. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching.